as the British monarchy continues to adapt to modern times, certain traditions and protocols remain steadfast. One such tradition is the strict travel ban that could soon impact Prince George, the oldest son of Prince William and Princess Catherine. This long-standing rule, which dictates that two heirs to the throne are not permitted to fly on the same plane, is set to come into effect for Prince George next year, highlighting the importance of protecting the line of succession. The travel ban, a precautionary measure to safeguard the future of the monarchy, has been in place for decades. It ensures that the direct heirs to the throne are not endangered simultaneously, thereby preserving the continuity of the royal lineage. With Prince George currently second in line to the throne, turning 11 next year, this rule will soon apply to him. Consequently, he will no longer be able to travel with his father, Prince William, on the same aircraft. Historically, Prince William and Princess Catherine have traveled with their three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, as a family unit. This practice not only strengthens their family bond, but also presents a unified image to the public. However, the impending travel restriction for Prince George marks a significant shift in their travel dynamics. This change will likely see the families splitting their travel arrangements, with George traveling separately from his father to adhere to the protocol. This adjustment may require careful planning and coordination, ensuring that the young prince is always accompanied by a suitable guardian while traveling. Noting that Prince William abided by the same rule when he turned 12 in 1994, Laurie explained, Interestingly, we flew all four, the prince, the princess, Prince William, and Prince Harry, up until Prince William was 12 years old. After that, he had to have a separate aircraft, and we could only fly all four together when they were young with the written permission of Her Majesty. When William became 12, he would fly normally in a 125 from Northall, and we would fly the 146 out with the other three on. The royal travel ban underscores the meticulous planning involved in maintaining the continuity and stability of the British monarchy. In a time when the royal family is navigating various challenges and transitions, such protocols are essential in preserving the line of succession. Prince George's adherence to this rule is a testament to the ongoing commitment of the monarchy to uphold its traditions and responsibilities. As Prince George grows older, this travel ban is just one of many protocols and responsibilities he will need to navigate as a future king. His upbringing, guided by Prince William and Princess Catherine, is carefully designed to prepare him for his eventual role. While this new travel arrangement may seem like an inconvenience, it is a critical step in Prince George's journey towards understanding and embracing his future responsibilities. The news of Prince George's impending travel ban has sparked considerable interest and discussion among royal watchers and the public. Many see this as a necessary measure to protect the future of the monarchy, while others express sympathy for the young prince, who will face increasing scrutiny and responsibility as he grows older. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams noted, This travel ban is a stark reminder of the unique challenges and responsibilities faced by the royal family. It highlights the delicate balance between maintaining tradition and adapting to modern times. Prince George, like his father before him, will undoubtedly rise to the occasion. It is unclear whether Prince William and Princess Catherine will follow this protocol in the exactly same way, and if they would both fly with their younger two children, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, while George travels separately, or if Catherine would join their eldest son as a compromise. The implementation of the travel ban for Prince George next year marks a significant moment in the life of the young royal. It serves as a reminder of the importance of preserving the line of succession and the meticulous protocols that underpin the British monarchy. As Prince George steps into this new phase of his life, the world will watch with keen interest, witnessing the future king's journey unfold.